Hello everybody, we are here in South Los Angeles, just off of Central Avenue, uh, in front of the Second Baptist Church. So this was the oldest black Baptist church in Los Angeles, in fact in Southern California, I believe. Uh, the congregation dates back to 1885. This particular building was built in 1926, designed by Paul R. Williams, who we'll talk about a little bit more in detail later, um, in collaboration with Norman Marsh. So uh, this was built at a period where Central Avenue was really a burgeoning neighborhood for the black community in Los Angeles. And uh, the reasons for that are largely due to segregationist policies. So there are all kinds of uh, covenants as part of uh, property ownership and written into deeds that basically said that uh, white landowners could only sell to other white landowners. And so it meant that a lot of uh, the black community was segregated into this part of town, what they call the Slauson Box. It was just a small rectangle of land uh, that was deemed less desirable. Um, and despite the sad history of that, this part of town right off of Central Avenue was just bustling back in the 20s through the 40s especially. Uh, and this church was one of the anchors of that community. It was a place for gathering, it was a place for social and political advancement. The NAACP held some of its conventions here. And this was where Martin Luther King and Malcolm X would come to preach whenever they were in town. So, very important place from a lot of different perspectives and still an active gathering spot for the black community. And a little bit about Paul Williams. Um, he designed a whole lot of buildings in uh, the Central Avenue area. Uh, he was the very first black architect admitted to the American Institute of Architects. Um, and he had an incredibly long career. Uh, I think he set up his practice in the 20s and he was working up until his death like 50, 60 years later. So a lot of the buildings uh, in Central Avenue, but the most important commercial uh, and uh, uh, some civic uh, and, and community buildings, he designed and even like came back decades later and renovated. So we're gonna go see a few more of them, but uh, let's take a look at some of the facade of this amazing church.